have our cup of coffee. I have plenty. Look at my hair. When I tell you I just brush my teeth and come on, I really mean I brush my teeth and come on. Good morning. Alicia Ramen. Ramen's full of uh, piss and vinegar this morning, apparently. Freckle face. How is everyone? Tater! Listen, I was, uh, life with mommy. Guys, thank you so much for coming out, hanging with me. Uh, especially on Saturday. We had an appearance by uh, none other than the Harley over there. She's, um, come here. Come here. She was already full of piss and vinegar, too. So, um, what do you guys want to talk about? Because I got stuff I want to talk about. I do. Um, but I wanted to start out with, last night we were in Snoop's. Oh, she gets respect. Listen, she knew it was Catter Day and she was, it's her time to shine. So she jumped up on my face this morning. Pretty early in the morning. It was not time. It was not time to get up. I went yesterday. Listen to what happened. So I go to work and I'm in work, you know, doing my thing. And my husband called, he texts me and it said, uh, it was time. It wasn't time. It was still 7.30. He's like, uh... Listen, don't worry about it, but I I forgot my keys. I locked myself out. I said, okay. So he's in his car because we have a code that can get into the car, but he can't go anywhere because his key is on the key ring that's in the house. So this man wanted to sit in the parking lot for six hours before I came home. I was like, what the... Because he leaves or he leaves later than I do because he goes in later and he's home later. So I had to come home last night, yesterday. I didn't have to. I did because I love my husband and didn't want him to sit in the car. He's like, well, I got my lunch and drinks um, in the car. I, he said, I have everything except two turntables and a mic. I said, you're funny. You're funny. Burn! Burnt. I love seeing your beautiful face coming in on this early Saturday. So I came home and I let him in. And, uh, of course, I got home. Usually I'm done early on Fridays anyway. And I had plans to pick up my prescription. So I got my scripts. And then I came home and I ripped through my closet and I cleaned my closet. I am so excited that I cleaned my closet. You don't have any idea. So we got that. I'm going to put the decorations way later today um so yeah I am very excited I got my closet I found glasses I have six pair of glasses I mean they're old but you know who needs to see anyway anyway um we were in snoops last night we were talking about hair and if you guys I know burnt's been here since the beginning ramen was here when I used to do my get ready with me's, I always said, we don't talk around talk about hair around here. That's why I look like the way I do. I used to just do my makeup. And I was like, you know, one morning, maybe I'll do next Saturday. He wants, he told me this morning, he wants to go somewhere after I'm done. So maybe next Saturday we'll do a little get ready with me and I'll throw some shadow on. Okay. But today, no, I'm putting stuff away. I have to put my decorations away from Easter. So that's a, Easter doesn't take me as long as Christmas, which I love because I, you know, whatever. You guys saw what I did last week. So I missed you last week. But we were in Snoops talking about hair and that kind of thing. And we were talking about gray hair. I love my gray hair, but I hate the dark because I was purple last year. And I stripped that out with color oops that I told uh, Tater about. And I wanted to, I wanted to do that again. Hi, Fancy. 
Um, I wanted to do that again, but if I strip the dark brown out, I have to cover up everything, obviously. Food fur! And I don't want to, I don't want to cover my gray, but then that comes out anyway, like the color comes off the gray quickly. Anyway, that's my, that's my soapbox. So, I love gray hair. I want to embrace it. I don't care, see. I don't care. And when I turn to the side, I could see it's in the back and everything like that. But, you know, let me see here. Oh, I can gift memberships. Who does, are there, do we have, all right, I'm going to gift out five. I have 10 to gift out, so I'm going to gift five right now. Who got them? Freckle, Horsewoman, Mr. Hobbs, K-Day. I don't know who that is. Limey got one. Oh, seen it. Seen it. Say a couple of more things. Chat, 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 chat. And then you'll get one. Because the more you chat and I chat, then you get them. Charlotte Luke! Here comes the butt head. All right. Say, say, say. All right. There goes the other five. You can do that. Imagine! Seen it, you got one. Freaking fabulous. Lease. So, anyway, yeah, I want to keep my um, scene. Now, you guys can use your cat or day emojis. Welcome. Good morning, Lise. How are you? You and your. She wanted everybody to know that she's um, excited if you received your free membership. Um, if you didn't, the link is pinned to the top if you want to become a gossip girl. Um, so, there you go. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Hi, Zeno. I am well. How are you? We say around here we are well and we are sober. Oh, it's just something that we say around here because we watch a train wreck that's always saying she's well and sober and she's clearly not well and she's clearly... Char! I'm glad you did too. Uh, she's clearly not well and clearly not sober. So, you know, it's just an inside thing. So, hope uh, life down there in Florida is good. Yeah, I'm just, well, no, I'm not just waking up. The butt head over here woke me up at 7.30 and then I went back to bed. So, good. Good, 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 good. He's at the gym if you want to talk to him. He's unavailable right now. I think it's leg day. I'm not quite sure. I'm not, he didn't tell me it's leg day. Usually a, he makes a grand announcement when it's leg day. Harley, do you want to say good morning? Would you like to? No, she's not Calico. She's just, uh, she's a, like, a, a, I don't want to say, because then it sounds like I'm being nasty, but she's like a, she's a midgy. Like, she's, like, real tiny. She's probably, like, five pounds. She looks like she's six months old. She didn't, the, the vet told me that she, um, the vet told me she didn't get the memo to grow. So, and she didn't. She's tiny. But boy, is she mighty. Uh, burnt. Yes, we felt the, we felt the earthquake. I was in work and my office sits up against, she is cute. My office sits up against our lab and I was on the phone with my husband. Well, I was trying to find the key for him and I thought, what the hell is happening? Cause we mill our own crowns would like make our own crowns in office. And I'm like, is the, like, cause it spins it's like a washer is that off? What are they doing back there? And then everybody in the office was like, we just had an earthquake. I'm like, oh, okay. And then around four o'clock, we had another one. Tortoise shell cat, hollow bones. Ah, ah. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. 
the first one was 4.8. It kind of just like rumbled everyone. And then the second one wasn't anything. So I'm like, I was waiting for the aftershock. Did you, Char? Yeah, we're liking the, um, from what I get, we're liking the documentaries over here. So tomorrow the new poll goes up. And listen, I'm not trying to pressure anybody, but it's going to be a music one. They're pulling the musics down. So if you're not there while we're doing it, you may not be able to watch the uh, replay. And I have a couple, I think I know who's going to win. Um, so you, like, you know, if you can be there Thursdays, I usually do it around six o'clock. So that's EST. So I kind of do them early. Drew Barrymore. I'm still talking about it. I was talking to my husband about it. That was some crazy shit. That was some crazy, crazy shit. Freckle, I have three cats. Uh, the other two, once they eat, they know how to cat. So they go to bed. What's your go bag ready? What's a go bag? If we have an earthquake, you got a go bag? Is that what you mean? What does that mean? Listen. The eclipse starts on Monday. If you're in the line of totality... Which we may, we're not in the totality line. It's more like Pittsburgh area. Um, yeah. I mean, whatever. Uh, you were in Guatemala? They're kind of weird. Like, because you never know when one's going to happen. It just, you know, it's like, uh, what was that? I feel the earth move under my feet. You know, the whole, the whole joke that goes with it. Um, but anyway, about the solar eclipse. There's, you know, I'm Christian and I don't get, I mean, I do kind of get into conspiracies because I like going down the rabbit holes. However, you don't mess around with stuff like that, you know, because God knows. Um, but... This particular eclipse is going over, I think, seven towns that are, I forget the name. My husband told me what the name is. Um, that, like, Job was sent to. He was sent there for 40 days and he wound up, you know, you know, they were, like, squished. So, smite it, whatever. Salem was the last one. Tater, I love you. Salem was the last one. This one is, it starts with an N. I forget. Anyway, people are saying like, this is the, you know, last one. It was no big deal. This one, blah, blah, blah. It's the end of the world. And it's funny because we had our earthquake. It was 4.8 and then the solar is on 4.8. You know how people make all that shit up, you know. But the, 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 like, he's coming in the blink of an eye. You're not going to know. No man, not even Jesus knows when it's going to be the end of the world. So just everybody relax. And if you just see piles of uh, clothes on the floor, you know that we were sta we were taken. And if you're left behind, then start to repent because you'll have seven years. I mean, you know, that's how it goes. Anyway, there's my soapbox on that too. A backpack with essentials that you can grab at a moment. No bug out meds, batteries, flashlights, water, snacks, clothes, socks, and extra shoes. Seen it before. I have a snack bot. I have a snack basket in my car. Okay, I'm good. I used to carry around like when I was in my single days. Uh, I drank a lot, and like I would never drink and drive, but I would go over to my friend's house, and wherever I was. I always had pillow, a blanket, a bag full of like body wash, deodorant, underwear, bra, like a change of clothes. And uh, what else did I have in there? I always had, I always had that stuff. But I took, I caroled, I, I traveled with my own pillow because 
Not too many people know what a pillow is for a guest, okay? So I took my own. Israel's being, they have been since that war. It's just a lot of stuff that's going on. A lot of stuff. Are, are you, like, we're, a girl in work, she's got the glasses, so me and her are going to go out. But here's the thing, if it's like a sunny day, you're not going to be able to see it. The last time I was stuck in work, I wasn't able to see it. I was best. I wanted to. We got the glasses and everything. Out of respect for nature, they don't watch the eclipse. They stay inside. Is that right? I'm going to do I'm like not even in live chat. Who gave me YouTube? Who gave me that? But Israel has been prepared. They have been prepared. They can rebuild that temple. They have all the materials. They can rebuild that temple in three days. You were driving. I was driving one time when we had, I was at a red light. That's why I felt it. It was like a little rumble. I was like, was that? I said, is that my car or was that an earthquake? I got home and they said it was an earthquake. I've, I've witnessed four of them. I, I felt four of them. It's really not that big deal. Make sure my animals are out of sight of it. Oh yeah. They, my, I have like, I have six windows in my house. Because I'm in a townhouse. Ocean Tide. Yes, you do need coffee. I'm going to try not to drink my coffee too fast so I'm all tongue-tied when I get to these things. Guys, I woke up and I was just like, you know, you know, after praying and everything like that, I listened to Bomb's, uh, her dating profile. <laughs> what in the world? I, and I listened to, um, I listened to Abe. I couldn't find it or else I'd write, I'd read it. And I don't want to like, I don't, I don't want to ask JJJ if I can, I went on rumble. I was trying to, as I was getting ready to, um, yes, seen it before. I'm going to pull up one of the, the, I'm going to pull it up. We'll listen to it. I have it on my computer, but I don't want feedback. We might get feedback. Crap. Luke, Luke, Evil Abe did it. Evil Abe did it. I was freaking cracking up. She said, yes, I smoke, and it's good to smoke tobacco instead of meth, but you left out the fact that you snort pills because we know you snort pills. They just, it was, uh, she's got three degrees and she's currently in criminal justice. Yes, Fufa, she has a, she has a dating site. And apparently she's got four. It's on Fifty Shades, I know. That's where I saw it because it came up in my algorithm. I was laughing, 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 laughing. If when something happens to my husband, I will be left for the rest of my life. No one could ever put up with me. Same, seen it. Same. Um, same. She has four dating sites. She's on four different sites. Yes. She's looking for love in all the corners of the website. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Uh, me and my best friend at the time, we were both single and everybody was like, you guys aren't together. No, we're friends. No, we're not together. I couldn't put up with him. He couldn't put up with me, but we were friends anyway. So we were here and we were just like, yeah, oh, for shits and gigs, let's uh, try this out. So I'm like, what, what would, what would my like what would my what would my options be so we were sitting here and we were laughing 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 he came up i said oh look you're on you're you're a recommendation for me i was like swipe left nope nope we're not gonna do you 
it's scary out there. I, I, I like, like, show me your teeth. Do you have teeth? I mean, I wouldn't date anybody from a dating site anyway, because that's just scary shit. There's catfish and we see what's going, what goes on. Four date, you don't know that, yeah. And that's the thing, Burnt. They're just there for hookups. You're not going to find a meaning relationship. People are on there to get the, you know. But here's the thing, though. If you're single, you just have to, you have to wait. Because I kept telling my friend, I'm like, I don't understand. Aw, oh, thanks, Zeno. I don't understand why he you threw me off. Um... Like, why are you just there? Like, just say it. Don't say you're wanting a relationship. Just say you're there for a hookup. I mean, I respect the fact that you're going to, uh, if you do say that, then you're going to not lead someone on. But anyway, I just was like, all right, bitching and moaning that I was single. And then, what, two years later, here comes my husband. Maybe a year. It was a year. So I was being prepared. I was being prepared for him to come back into my life. Crazy story. I love our story. I love our story. But you knew who knew. Okay. She is on. So what would she be on? Okay, stupid. I mean, okay, Cupid. Plenty of fish. What are the other ones? Tinder. Isn't there one with a B or something like that? I mean, we should, like, if I had, I'm not on StreamYards. We we could be looking, I could be, oh my gosh, then I'd have to make an account and that, then I would, all hell would break loose. Okay, I, listen, I had, I, I don't know what I'm thinking. I shouldn't have said that out loud because I get in trouble. Farmers only? Bumble. I knew it was something with a B or a, like a, you know, like a bzz, B. Isn't that, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Venmo. Definitely Venmo. She's on Venmo. But don't they have a Christian website too? Like Christians shouldn't be doing that nonsense. Go to church. They have single stuff at church. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. PayPal's a good one for her. PayPal's a good one for her. PayPal is definitely a good one. So anyway, not that this is, I don't know if this is a secret or not, but um, I actually talked with JJJ about like the shenanigans that were um, happening with me. She is the sweetest person ever. Like she literally is the same person offline as she is online. And um, there's that. They do have a Christian website. I thought it, I want my daughter to try it. Freckleface, if she tries it, please get back to us and let us know. I need to know if that is, uh, if that's the case. Life with mommy, she's really, really sweet. And she calmed me down. Not that I was riled up. Like, I was riled up, like, a couple of weeks prior to that. But I was just like, yeah, he died. Like, I, she calmed me down. And she's just, so, she's just, she's so sweet. I don't know how she has time for everyone, but she always makes time. Which is really nice of her because there's a lot of people out there that are like, Bleh. so I thought that was nice. It was, um, I wasn't here last week or I would update you. I could say I have to update you on the things that happened. We weren't here on Saturday. And, um, you know, docu docu Thursday is for the documentaries. Well, I don't know, Freckle. I didn't ask her that, and I don't care if she is. Who knows? And she she has fun with it when, when everybody else says it, but I don't know if she is. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, you know. So if she's... Whether she is or not, it doesn't matter. But them making fun of that 
is bullshit because there are some that are. There are some that are. And they're just like you're just making fun of all the others that are, you know, that are handicapped or whatever. I can't stand that one. I can't stand her. She don't want people talking about her, yet she... Where's Alyssa? I didn't spill Alyssa. I haven't seen her in chat, so I'm wondering if she's okay. She hasn't been in the comment section either. So I wondered if she was okay. Has anyone seen Alyssa C around here? If we need to make a dating website for scientific purposes, I give permission to use me, although we won't get many fishes. Burnt, listen to everybody. Burnt has been with me since the very beginning. If this woman does not stop putting herself down, I am going to go where she lives and kick her ass. She's a beautiful woman, and she's one of the sweetest people ever. And she's pretty freaking funny. Right, Luke? It's not. It's not an insult. Because Jenny gets her every single time. Jenny gets her every freaking single time. Yeah, it's Hater. Get her out from... You're going to be on a timeout. Get her out from the bushes. I just I just hope she's okay because I know sometimes she said she wasn't feeling good. So I hope she's all right. Luke, do you watch Foodie Beauty? <coughs> how many people put a one in the chat? How many how many of drama community know about Foodie? Foodie Beauty. Sean Tall. Well, it is flat. Like, that's crazy. Just from you, Char. Yeah, Char knows. Char, did you see Hussie last night? You watch people who watch Foodie? Luke, you do know that that's where I came from, Girl World, right? Life with mommy. I will. Zeno, you don't. <laughs> Zeno, listen. Y'all know what I. You don't want to know what I do here on these YouTube streets, okay? It's. This is my. This is my TV. I even said that to Jenny Jen Jen. I said, How is this my life? How did this become my life? She said, Well, look, it's like TV. Only you get to talk to these people and they get to yell back at you. I said, Good point. Good point. Good point. Now, oh, here, this is what I want to do. Uh, I'll start you off. And he's, he's really, I mean, he's really freaking good. He put these docus, he's going to, he's doing a docuseries. The only thing I don't like is that he, I do too, mommy. The only thing that he, that drives me nuts is that he puts them in a month. Like once you watch these, he's got two out, then it's going to take like another month for the other one to come out. But you'll see why, because he does a really good job. Um, I'm going to pop the first one in there. Here. Where are you guys at? K9! I got K9 involved in it. That's Mr. Snowflake. He's doing a docuseries on her. The other one was uh, Canadian Horror Story, which was like, now it's five years old. But if you, there's two episodes. Each are a little over an hour. 
but they are, you'll get start to finish on how she started. She, uh, try me, welcome in. Like I try to pull out the funny stuff, but she's not really that funny. I mean, she's, she's not, there's a lot of dark shit behind her. Yeah, K9, I'm sorry. I don't watch ALR, so if you go on his, like, they're the fatties. It's the fatty world. So, like, ALR and Foodie Beauty. K9, you did it, not me. You did it, not me. Ah, guys, welcome in. Ocean Tide. Did I say hi? Because I'm all hopped up on, um... On coffee now. But you can, uh, you can start watching her. It's a good place to start because it tells you, you know, it, it goes into depth. And he started at the beginning of when she started, like, her Ipsy reviews. And then how she got into mukbangs. And then the second one left off. We call it Crackhead Olympics. Just so you guys know, you're in for a wild ride. That's when I joined in. That's when I started watching her. And what a time to be alive. It was a, um, yes, I watched Annie. Uh, it was quite fun. Quite fun. I was a beezer. So if you ever hear uh, a clip and she says my name, she hated me. Called me a psycho. Told me I was crazy. I'm insane. <sighs> K9, why were you hidden by... What did K9 say? I'm sure it was... Uh, I'm sure Burnt was just... Antsy. So, Foodie Beauty and uh, Cater. Canine, I don't know what's going on. Sorry. I think she meant to undo it. Canine knows nobody means anything. What's... Wait, a guy does music with meow meows? With like literal cats doing meows? Oh, Yun did it. I thought I said that she was timed out for 10 seconds. I, I don't know. I, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to mod. So you guys are doing what you need to do. But K9's good. I have a good chat. We don't have rappers on a tear though. Just to let you all know. They're on a tear. So, anyway, I wanted to talk about this Diddy stuff. Is everybody watching the Diddy stuff? It's pure, pure Epstein, Weinstein, and uh, just hedonism. What did Luke say? Shani, we're, I guess we're not going to talk about Diddy. We'll talk about whatever you want. P. Diddy, Sean Puffy Combs. Um, his son is going down. That's what I wanted to talk about because I have the whole thing up. His son, they were on a yacht, and this is what's pissing me off because there was a lot of dirty deeds done on the um, done on yachts and boats and stuff like that. So they were in international waters. So there's really not, there's not, like when you're on the water, you, there's, there's no country that can, you can, you know, follow their laws. That's why they're trying to do like some Rico thing. But anyway, his son tried, um, essaying one of the crew members. And because there was a studio, his, Diddy's, uh, 
what's his name? Robbie J. He's, he's, he was a producer for Diddy. And he went through 13 months of this nonsense with him. He recorded stuff. So there's actual audio of this girl telling her, telling Diddy's son to take his hand off her ass. So he's going down because they were slipping Mickey's in the drinks and the girls that were like, you know, on the, on the boat were just going down one at a time. Did you K9? Cause a rapper. Yeah. He comes in like he or she comes in there. They're, they're, I don't know. They're on a tear. Usually they're, you know, if rap, rapper comes in here, I tell them to be good. He's usually good. But, um, so now, like, here's the thing. Homeland Security does not go into your house without concrete evidence. And they simultaneously went into his Miami and Los Angeles home to find these recordings. This is all going to go down. He's going to be indicted within the next couple of weeks. You watch and see. He's going down. I watched, I can't stand Nancy Grace, but I watched Nancy Grace and she said um, they have to, they probably already have the indictment written up. They just have to take it before a grand jury to vote on whether he's, uh, whether he goes to court or something like that. I don't know, but he's coming down and he should. He took advantage of Justin Bieber and Usher and Kevin Hart's involved, uh, Cuba, Good, Cuba Gooding Jr., Oh, there's all kinds of people. And Jay-Z. Jay-Z's Jay -Z's going to go down with him. Look, I'm drinking my coffee too fast. I'm getting tongue-tied. Erin! Hi, beautiful. I didn't go in Discord. Is Oranges here? Because she is. Hi, Oranges. We love you. This whole thing is a mess. This whole entire thing is a mess. And 50 Cent, who I adore and have always adored is trolling the little literal shit out of Diddy. Who's going to jail for their stupidity? Oh, well, no, he raised them that way. He He's not, like, Diddy taught him how to do what he's doing. He's Diddy Jr., literally. Shar. He's, he's, um, Ramen loves him too. I mean, my husband was like, I thought when he came back, he goes, well, I thought J LL Cool J was, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like LL, but he's out there doing his acting thing. Fitty Ten is who is like, where, like, I love him. I love him because he's real AF. Like he doesn't mess around. He will tell you what is going on and doesn't make any excuses. He is trolling the literal shit out of Fiddy. I mean, Diddy. He's getting the tapes. He's making a doc documentary. Where is it? Oh, crap. 50 Cent. 50 Cent says, it's not looking good for the Diddler. After a report of Cassie cooperating in Diddy investigation. So Cassie was Sean Puffycomb's girlfriend for 13 years. So she has seen a lot of nonsense. So he, she took him to court and he paid her off within a day. Like there was no court. It was like, we're going to settle out of court for an undisclosed amount. Just shut up. This is it. So now she's in, now she's working with the feds. She's cooperating with them. So there's going to be all kinds of stuff. Now, 50 has like, you know, he's got receipts. He came with receipts because there's audio out. There's photos out. All this stuff. He's making a documentary. He is going to, green light gang. He's going to make a documentary. And I am here for it. The shit he does, you, he's petty. And do not, do not be an enemy of 50 Cent. Because he, he shut down Jim Beam. Jim Beam had to shut their Instagram down because of what's going on with him in the liquor store or the liquor uh, business. She was in a, with Diddy? Oh yeah, you could see in his eyes that he's the devil. 
He and and so is his son. Like you can see the pictures. You could see that. It, mm -mm. I wouldn't want to be in his presence. No, 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 no. I know. I miss oranges too. Well, freckle face money does talk, um, but at some point you'll get caught. At some point you're going to get caught because. You just don't, you can't be doing these nasty, vile things to people and them not talk. There's one woman, I don't know her name, but she's, she's been in the industry for almost 30 years, she said, and she was involved in him early on in her career. She said the things that he did to her, she still cannot talk about. Five people in her life know what happened and she cannot talk about her story because she just wants to... Forget it and like, um, she's over there. She's here. She made an appearance earlier. Uh, she just doesn't want to talk about it. And that's, um, that's sad. That's sad. Huh? I can relate. I never told my story because I wanted to forget it. I mean, now I'll just tell anybody I'm open, so I don't care. But I didn't want to tell my story when I was a kid. I, I Nobody knew what I went through. Come here. Everybody wants to see you. Don't make me get up. Please. Please and thank you. Shar, he's got the biggest smile. I saw, he just, he's just cool. He's just a cool dude, man. I want to meet him, not because I have a crush on him. Here she comes. I have a crush on him. It's because I just want to, I just want to tell him that I think he's the coolest thing ever. Come on. Come on. Come here. Alright. Here she is. Say hello. Everybody wants to see you. It's your show. It's your show. Ooh. Aaron, we got a good crowd over here. Well, that's where you're supposed to talk, Luke, in therapy. But, you know, eventually you got to get it out. And you never know who's gone through your story. <sighs> Keep your hair to yourself, okay? You never know who's gone through your uh, story and you can relate. But if you choose to, uh, for crying out loud with the joy line. Well, you're drooling. You never know. But if you choose not to talk, that's okay. She does listen. She's a good one. I don't want to know nothing about somebody doing something bad to their cat. So, no. I didn't see that. Like, those two are weird AF. Um... She's telling everybody they're engaged. He's saying no because I popped into someone's chat last night who had him on panel. And, like, they're they're friends. But, um, yeah, Aaron, she is. So, he was telling everybody it's not an engagement ring. They're not engaged. Blah, 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 blah. Try and tell me something. <sighs> no, Char. Nobody yells. Nobody talks. It's just a hangout. I just like having people hang out. And then we do our thing on Thursdays. Thanks, Ocean Tide. I mean, we 
we could talk about the gossip and like, you know, in the drama community and girl world, but I like just talking about stupid shit and reading gossip magazines, which we haven't gotten to, but that's okay. Who seen it before? You said last night that you, um, you don't know anything about celebrities or, um, what else did you say? So you don't talk. Alyssa! We were, we summoned you. We were just talking about you. We were just literally talking about you. Grateful. Hi. Grateful, I, I miss the flirpy flirps. Why'd you retract, why'd you retract it? Oh, the Royals. That's right. Well, we just go on, we fly by the seat of our pants over here. I just keep everybody updated on the news. Only, uh, see, here's the thing. Alyssa just wants to talk about you. Okay? You're the superstar. You're a star, baby. Now, why don't you start making us money? How's that? I'm just kidding. That was not a joke. That was not a hint, hint. I'm just teasing. But I do feel that these little freeloaders should make me money. Okay? They need to be in commercials or some shit. For what, Bert? Your dating site? An intro with her? Hi, Mr. Happy. I'm working on doing an intro. I got the I got the video. I just don't know how to put the um I don't know how to put the music to it. And Yes, we renamed your goats, Mr. Socks, and uh, that was Polly. Polly was a part of that. Um, Mr. Goats and Mr. Scarf. So there's that. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can't rename my cats, though. What are we doing with eyeliner? Are we, um, are we, Bert, aren't you in my Discord? Because Kayline puts her, uh, her goats in there. Toddler has a whole farm. She's got a whole ranch. But she's kind of been getting ready and preparing for the season. All right, Char. Well, thank you for stopping in. I love seeing you around here. You know, uh, the big man's taking a day off because he went out last night. So we won't see him for uh, 70, like three to five business days. He'll be off. He might be lurking somewhere. Oh, yeah. Zeno, that's right. But here's the thing. Like, I want to do an intro... I want to do an intro using real music. And then if I do, I'll immediately get, I'll, they'll immediately demonetize the thing. So I got to be good and like, you know, whatever. Not that I care. I mean, this isn't, I, it's not really that big a deal for me. Seen it before. I saw you say that last night. All right, Alyssa, Alyssa, uh, Alyssa, send it to me. Send me your suggestions. Um, seen it before. I saw you say that in Snoop's thing last night. And you definitely should just do it. Just do it. Everybody supports one another in this community. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> Don't be one of those that wants, you know, 200, 400 people in your chat. Like, having just a few people in the chat that's cool and calm and, you know, respects one another and actually likes one another is exactly what, you know, is is a good thing. Like, expecting there to be hundreds. I've seen it. Sometimes there is just two. Sometimes there's, there's you know, a few more. I like being able to read the chat and keeping up with it. I don't use the chat as, you know, my main thing. Well, here I do because we're just gossiping. 
But um, like on Thursdays when I do the documentaries, it's the documentary that you guys pick. Elisa. Oh, Elisa. Well, do you have, like, do you have things on your chop? Drop your channel in here. Somebody will drop your channel for you so we could subscribe and go over there. Are you able to go live yet? Because I know you have to have, like, a certain amount of subs to go live. And um, I don't know what the rules are now. I really didn't pay attention. I just saw the go live button and I got it. I got excited. But I've been I've been doing my channel for two years now. And for the longest time, I didn't do anything on it. Oh no, we gotta we gotta promote you. We gotta get you peeps. If you start promoting your channel and like the discords and stuff like that, you all right, you know how to get up here if you want to come up. Um, yeah, definitely. There, thanks, Tater. There, I'm subbed. Thanks, everyone. You'll see when you can go live. Um, but yeah, just like the bullshit and stuff like that. It's, it's, I did come in here with a purpose to talk about Diddy. And now look at us. Bert, you go live on your, um, on TikTok? See, I'm not, I'm not on TikTok really. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, I don't go live on TikTok. I mean, I don't go on TikTok anymore, really. Every once in a while, I'll pop on there. I'm getting a blemish. I'm like, I saw your name. This is, this is, this is me and my technical difficulties. I don't know why I'm hovered over a certain thing. I just say seen its name. And then it says, um, like, remove, put in timer, put in timeout, hide the channel. I'm just hovering over it. I don't know. Whatever. Burnt used to go live and do games where you'd have to go, like, you hopped over onto Google and they had, like, what was it? Like, I think Pictionary or something like that. She used to do fun stuff. But your chat, you don't do it on your channel anymore. Like, why can't we do games? Why can't we just all flock over to JJJ and Savage, Paige and Flava, and do all that? And then we all have, like, you know, fun places for everybody to come and hang out. Like, I want to see JJJ over here just bullshitting about, like, nothing. That's all. Watching my cat act a fool. Lise has a channel, too. She does all kinds of artwork. Pro doesn't... He, Luke doesn't really do too many things. You guys, like, literally, I don't mind you dropping channels because a lot of people drop my channel. Jackbox. Jackbox is what it is. There we go. Didn't spill again. Didn't spill it again. All right, so here's what I want to know. Has anybody... I have to make my brother ham and... I have to make him ham, uh, ham and bean soup. I've never done it before. Ham gags me and so do the beans I have to use. Is it easy? And um, Has anybody made it before to tell me what to expect? Because it gags me. Can I just throw the ham bone in there and just let it go? Like the ham and the beans in there and just let it simmer? Is there shit I need to know? Because I'm I'm really not in the mood. Seen it before. I It's called, they're navy beans. 
but they're from the, um, ham gags me. Well, it's the ham from Easter. Everybody took it and like, like, you know, got cleaned it off. Not, there's meat on the bone, but I threw it in the freezer. Luke, you got to do it. I know there's recipes over there. I just need to know. Well, I got a big stock pot. That's what I'm going to do. I know there's recipes out there. I just want to, like, do I have to, like, really get my hands involved in touching the, the ham? Because it's, I got to do that. When my husband comes home, I got to start. I'm going to throw the freaking thing in for in frozen and just let it simmer and, and heat up that way. Wash the beans first. I'm not getting the dry beans. I'm getting the canned beans. Do not stir. I should tell my husband then, hold on, hold the wire. Let's go here. I, um, yeah, canned beans make it. I'll get the dry beans. Because, I mean, I'm going to let it cook for hours. Because I'm going to have the frozen ham anyway. Hot tea. Add a couple cans of chicken broth. Chop an onion. Dice a couple carrots. I do have those. I did see that. Okay. So, the dry beans will, cooking it for eight hours is probably better. Because I'm throwing the ham bone in frozen. All right. Dry beans it is. Let me just tell him again. All right, I'll do that. He asked me for it, and I'm going to make ribs. So he'll have ribs for the week, or at least a day, because he'll eat the whole rack. And he'll have ham soup for the week. He's got bread and cheese. He can make freaking grilled cheese with the soup. I don't care what he does after that. I'm just cooking for him. I know I got to touch the ham. I I'll just throw it, I'll just send it over there and tell him to do it. Well, Zeno, I don't either, but oh no, I eat ribs. But he likes pork chops and all that stuff and it's easy. I got to I got to cook for him, so I'm making the easy stuff. And I remember when I set out pepperoni, you told me that. Tater, that's how I learned to cook. My one grandmother, my dad's mom, she cooked. She's a good baker too, but she only made a certain thing. My other grandmother, she was a good cook too, but she was the baker. So that's how I learned to do all the fancy stuff. Pork chops and applesauce. They don't make TV shows like that anymore. Although there was some corruption on that show too. Freaking, uh, what was her name? The mom diddling with the kids. What the hell was her name? Carol, Bob and Carol, wasn't it? You grate up the onion and add all the juice from it. Oh, come on, man. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Of course I remember the Brady Bunch. I'm 52 years old. I grew up on the Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch, the, uh, Dan what was the Danny Bonaducci show? What was that show called? Tater. I eyeball everything. I mean, that's, like, that's cooking with love when you eyeball everything. Carol, you have, I have a Carol Brady haircut. Was a Roseanne, Rosanna Dana look. Partridge family. Thank you. Um, you have the Carol Brady cut now or you had one? I want to get my hair cut. I'm waiting for it to grow because the asshole that cut my hair, my hair was... 
My hair was down to my waist and I'm a big girl. So that's a lot of hair. I said, I just want four to six inches off. She cut it up to my shoulders. I said, you need to get a new ruler. Chips, Knight Rider, eight is enough. You know what I miss? The old soap operas at night. Knott's Landing. There was Falcon Crest. I didn't really watch Dallas, but we kind of did because Falcon Crest was on after Dallas. Those were the shows. Bye, Freckle Face. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I didn't watch Dynasty. Now, I watched the reboot of Dynasty. I didn't watch it when it was on back then. <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> I was thinking about doing that butterfly cut because I didn't want to go to the hair salon. I was just like, oh, let me just, it was too much. It was starting to get like just on my nerves. And I was going to do the butterfly cut, but I was like, nee, you know what? I'm going to fudge it up. Just not going to do it. Not doing it. That's what I thought. Pro, my friend, his name is Stiggs. He, he bullied me into watching Dynasty. And I kind of, like, now he's telling me to watch some other show. I said, no, 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 you're not getting me into it. You're not doing it to me again. But I I did get into the, the reboot of Dynasty. It was so campy and cheesy. And I got, I kind of got into it. All right, I got into it. I hated the ending. I hated the ending. You didn't watch Falcon Crest? Erin, I think uh, Elise is going to like the clip of Foodie hopping up at 2.30 in the morning with no hair. Yeah, but the Real Housewives, they're, which one? Which season? Because each one is different. I can't, I don't do, I don't do Salt Lake City. I got out of doing Potomac. I mean, I watch, I do like the new, I do like the new set of uh, Girls in New York. I got out of Atlanta because I can't stand Kenya. I like candy, but I can't stand Kenya. New York, New Jersey, Beverly Hills, and Ocean City. Those are the ones that I watch. Ocean County, not City. I can't talk when I come here with you guys. Uh, Kenya's an asshole. She's a complete asshole. I broke up with Netflix. Now, I may or may not sign up again in June when all of the shows drop and then break up with them again in July. They're too expensive. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago, how expensive cable is. And I have to have it because there's no other choice. I don't have a, I don't have competition in my, my uh, association here. Ocean City would be a shit show. I want to see. I want to see Housewives of Philadelphia. We're a major city. Why do we not have a Housewives of Philadelphia? Because then everybody can. Everybody will understand the accent that we have, and you know, won't make fun of me. Yeah, let me just go right up to the clubhouse and tell uh, Bravo. There's a scandal coming out about uh, Andy Cohen, if you guys didn't know that. 
I was going to see if you guys wanted to see, uh, you know, if you wanted me to put him in the poll. The downfall of Andy Cohen. I heard he was a dick anyway. Alisa, you have curly hair and that's what was the problem? Burnt broke up with the TV. I don't remember that show, Elise. Wild Kingdom? I don't remember that show. The problem with me is that I have to wait for, I gotta wait for the entire season to drop. And then I watch the season, cause I wanna binge it. The zebra was eaten. I want to watch a show where animals get eaten. I mean, I like, you know, I go to the market and get what I'm making. And I know, I know it was once on four legs, but I don't, I don't want to watch that. Columbo. I know, but Burn, just think about like, you're giving, you're, you're, their company and they're watching TV and they just know that you're there. I think it's, I think it's awesome what you're doing. Now my husband binged the office cause no, neither one of us watched it. So he binged that. And then every night he'll tell me that he's going to watch Perry Mason, Miami Vice, What's the other one? I I, I, I don't want to say Columbo, but it might be Columbo. But he'll watch one episode just to calm down and, you know, uh, decompress after work. Horsewoman! Welcome in. Good morning. We're just over here talking smack. It's not a documentary today. It's just coffee talk. Talk about all kinds of stuff. The Playboy Murders is a good series if you like true crime. The Secrets of the Playboy is also interesting. What? Oh, I've seen it before. Take care. Have a great Saturday. You're welcome. Just make sure that you go into Discords and tell everybody you got a channel so you can get your, your subs up. Rockford Files is a good one, too. I, he, my husband watches all the old stuff. Like, I go down and he's got, a, like, a black and white movie on. I'm like, okay. But he likes all that stuff. I'm not making fun of him. I'm just saying that's what he watches. My Discord? It's just because I trust you, I'll let you in. There's only a couple of people in. Hold on. Oh, Mr. T that was in here. Ah. Oh, I saw. I have to reprove people, okay? I don't want butt heads in there. No shenanigans. We share animal stories and gifts. Little memes and stuff. That's, oh, Tater, I was going to, I have a picture I was going to share with everyone. I have a kitten crying on my deck and the dogs are losing their minds. Okay, well, you got to go rescue the kitten and... Put a picture in the Discord so we can name it. Uh, 
I did not see this. I did not see this Playboy thing. <laughs> Bye, Zeno. Have a good day. Have an amazing day. Uh, at least you had a good childhood. See, mine wasn't like that. We watched we watched shows and stuff. My dad made us watch like MASH. What was the other shows he used to make us watch? Like just all those weird, like not weird, but like shows for him. Oh no, we don't want boobies. We have our own boobies. I know you're kidding though. I watched Girls Next Door. Bert, you know who I am. Oh, my husband just sent me an 1111. You know that we, we have gift wars. Listen, it started off, he said, okay, bag beans. All right. Good man, good man. He really is a good man. He goes grocery shopping on Saturdays. I was going to, I asked him if he wanted to do it yesterday. And then I wound up cleaning out the closet and he wound up getting it. We, we just were not, we, we weren't, we weren't very peopley people yesterday. So going to the grocery store, if he don't quit it, going to the grocery store was probably not a good idea by either one of us. And he's a good man. So I, I just was like, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. And then he offered to go today. So there's that. But burnt, we do we do change uh, other people's animals' names. So canine gets pissed, but you know we laugh. Because we're not we're not being mean. We just want to call them that. The cane. Oh my god, that's a fuzzball. Oh, uh, what are you gonna do with the kitten? Canine, you gotta get the kitten. You gotta like that kitten's gotta be. What what are we doing with the kitten? Now all day long I'm gonna be thinking about this kitten. At least it's in the it, are you in the Discord? I gotta see its face. I gotta see its face before we name it. It's just like curled up in a little ball. Mr. Ed, I could still hear him singing the theme song. That's what it was. Like, they have Beverly Hillbillies. But they were, I mean, they were good shows. Beverly Hill, Hillbillies. Sanford and Son. All in the Family. I mean, All in the Family, Green Acres. All in the family was, now that you look at it, it was really bad. The Jeffersons. Um, but that was the way we were back then. Which is terrible. It's still terrible. And it was on TV. Coco's running around. They have their toys. All right, K9, we're like, we can't have that kind of negativity. You have to go in and get it. Because, like, dogs get it is, that makes my, that's triggering me into very sad, you know, thoughts. Uh, Lise, have a great day at work. Don't work too hard. It's Saturday. Thank you for coming in, you lovely lady. Oh, good. You have meds. You got everything over there. You're on a farm. Or, like, you got all kinds of animals.
And Mr. T that was in here, he's awesome. And I didn't realize when you change your name, I forget. So I just realized who it was. So if you're out there listening and lurking, I love you guys. Literally cool people. Same with oranges. Now we just got to get her app up and running so she can come in and have fun with us too. I have one with three legs. It was born. Oh, a little tripod. Ooh. Oh my. Here's Koki. My fat breath. Who needs a haircut? She's getting a haircut this weekend. <laughs> but this is Coco. She does need to get a haircut. She's got to get a bib and butt cut. Come on. You got me. I forget what my husband called her yesterday. Oh, a hippie because she needs her haircut. All right. I'll put you down in a minute, okay? Just say everybody hi because they love Harley. They love Harley because they don't get a chance to see you. We'll never get the boy on camera. We'll never get the boy. All right. There you go. There you go. Go lay with her. Oh, she's not here anymore. Alley cat. Would you stop? You guys are stealing my cat. I got her from a shelter and it looks like an upside down heart. And someone told me, no, it looks like a bio uh, hazard sign. I said, don't say that about my cat. It's an upside down heart. And she doesn't cry. She, she like just chirps. A bunch of buttheads. My friends are buttheads. My real life friends are buttheads. Which one? This one or that one? That's my grandfather's, the brown one, that I wanted to like redo, but not like bomb redo. I wanted to redo, but I don't have the heart to because it was my grandfather's. And the friggin' thing is solid heavy. Yeah. It's friggin' solid heavy. It like it's bad. It's really bad. That one came from home goods, so. That's not going to change. There's like a little, there's a chip in it too. But it's from the 1950s. So it's, it, having just that little tiny chip, we'll take it. How are you, Lisa? I'm glad we found out how to pronounce your name. Thank you. I will let Harley know that, you know, that you are here. And have a great Saturday. Enjoy your food. I love how she drops the fact that she's having food and doesn't tell us what she's having. But enjoy it. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be good. It does. It does tell a little story. Well, that's what I was thinking, but it's like kind of got like a shellac over it. Kind of like something shiny. But I don't know. I don't know. I do want it to... I. I want it to be like a little darker because the top of that, look, this is all, my room is still a work in progress. It's all still a work in progress. And now we think that we may be moving like in a couple of years. So I'm like, what do I really, do I really want to go and do everything to the room? Because I wanted to repaint it and all that stuff. I don't know if I want to do all that stuff. I mean, it's gray. So it's not like it's out of style. Aw, your first order delivery? You'll get used to it. Trust me. Trust me. All right. Coco found her perch. Later, gator.
I don't know. I just, I was like, oh, maybe I'll change the handles, but the handles is what gives a character. And I don't know what they were doing back in the 50s, but there's not much room in those drawers. So, and my grandfather was not a little man. He was a big guy. So I don't know what the hell they were doing, but. Back in the older days, they had like little tiny stuff. Yeah, I'm going to, I think I'll keep it classic. Do you, Tater? Because I don't like... I don't, sometimes I just don't like people and they act weird in the grocery stores. Like, they don't know how to act. I'm like, get out of my way. I'm going to aisle 16. I know exactly what I need. Get out of my way. Why are we, you know, deciding which can of diced tomatoes you want? You're looking at the same brand. Just pick one and get the hell out. They don't make furniture like they used to. And I just told my husband... When he pulls out this stuff, like my closet downstairs has all of my Christmas and Easter stuff in it. And then he has, he has like all kinds of equipment for recording and video and all that stuff. Um, he has that in the closet. So he's got to pull that out in order to get to all the other stuff. All that to say, I have a sterling silver tea set in one of the boxes in there. I want him to pull it out because I want to take a look at it. I want to see... I want to see what I have. I want to look it up and see. Because I know it's my grandmother's. In fact, it's my great-grandmother's. So, that might be worth something. And it might be worth putting, like, on display. But then silver gets all tarnished and stuff once it, the air gets to it. A family reunion. They're, like, straight-up stupid. Thirty, grateful you. Thirty-five years of washer and a dryer. I'm sure they had the the Maytag man come out and like you know, do work on it. But you're right. I mean, they do last forever. I still need to get a dishwasher. I mean, they're not expensive, but it's just like we forget about it because it's just two people. We come home, we wash our lunch boxes, and then we go. And I, cl I clean the dishes as I go, so I wouldn't even use the washer as I'm cooking. I wouldn't even use the dishwasher because I clean them as I go. Now that we have members, what should we do for our members only? Should we go take a drive somewhere? I mean, not today. Aw. Elisa, we'll miss you. It was good that you popped in. We were calling your name. But we'll see you, hopefully we'll see you on Thursday. Don't forget we have the poll on Saturday or tomorrow. It goes out. It's going to be a music one. Uh, rapper's here. I, why? Just like, why? What is your point of doing that stuff? I, I, and all right, I hope your, I hope your choice wins. Have a good day. Go put your groceries away. All right, Burnt. Have a good day at work. Enjoy whatever movie you watch today. Didn't I just say rappers is on it, is on a tear? I did. I, I whistled in uh, Elisa and then I whistled in Rapper. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to even spell out the word like that is crazy. To use the word is the worst. Um, but to just spell it out like that. I guess because most people are, like, I have the word, the actual word on my block list in, in my thing. But wait, I can't go in and block the, the letter N or I'd never see anybody's comments. So what is the point? Why are people like that? 
It's 2024, dude. Lise, he's like, he, she, I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming that it's a dude. Um, if they come in as rapper, I'm like, hey, you know, be cool, be nice today. And they're usually like pleasant and stuff like that. If you tell them to be nice. But the past two days, they've been on a tear. It's not charm. Sometimes it's bliss. But it's not charming. Don't get me started. Don't get me started on this stuff. Oh, damn. Zeno was in here. I wanted, I, I think I already did. I told him I found out what Riz means. I was all pissed off because they they cut the word that like you know. I don't think rapper like even Bombshell told rapper to take their meds, and that's not nice telling someone to take their medications. But you're on a tear, dude, and it's not cool. It's just like you can play nicely with the adults and. you know, make friends, but you woke up and chose violence. You woke up and chose racism. That says a lot about you. All right. Now we got the 50 cent out of the way. We got the Diddy stuff out of the way. We did that. I wanted to read bombshells, whatchamacallit, but we're going to have feedback. Do you want to try it? I can't for with the life of me, I cannot get Rumble to work. We need the filters. Oh, come on. Now, if this has feedback, let me know. Even read it and it can come up a little bit fuzzy. I'm trying to get it nasty. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Can't do it. 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 Can't like, I don't need your nonsense in here. And the more I give you light, the more I breathe life into that, the more you're going to come in. But just, there's there's really no need for it. Like, honestly, there's no need for it. We're over here hanging out, having coffee. Get a grip. You come in as your regular rapper name, and I tell you to be nice, and you're nice. You can hang out with us, and now you're, you're banned. Like, I just don't want you around. Eighty six thousand seconds is twenty four hours. Lise, you be very careful. Uh, yeah, Luke. Like, why? Why is that the whole 
Why is that your your thing? I should have had the TV fired up so we could listen to Bomb's uh, dating website. Um, there are some people that I don't like, but it has nothing to do with anything other than they're an asshole. That's all. I don't... Like you're an if you're an asshole, you're an asshole. It doesn't matter what you look like. That's just that those are facts. But that is some true words. People show you who they are, believe them. Because they won't change. I don't know, Luke, I don't know how they're going to get past her dissertation of her intro. Like, it was huge. Usually there's just like a line or two. Hi, Truth Seeker. Usually there's just, you know, like a line or two. Hey, blah, blah, blah. And then you get pictures and then you talk behind the scenes. And what what photo is she going to use? The one where she has like the, the the thin pointy nose and the red hair. What are we going to do? We have had, there's a lot of hypocrites out there. There's a lot of hypocrites. There's a lot. And Tater, you know who I'm talking about. And the thing is, is that, like, I, I'm not getting into it. I'm all hopped up on caffeine. But you got to watch out, though, because there's some slow. And that's the thing, Tater, too. The person that we're, like, talking about, like, there's going to be a told you so moment. There's going to be a told you so moment. There really is. And I feel bad. I feel bad. But I'm like, and then I'm like a train wreck because it's like I, I want to keep my eye on stuff. I hope that it turns out not to be the, the case. I hope so. Anyway, what are you guys doing today? I literally, I don't know what I'm doing. I thought maybe I'd go to the grocery store with my husband, but he's doing that after the gym. Uh, he's probably coming in soon. And then he's going to take the stuff out. Literally take me five minutes to take the Easter stuff down and put it away. I can't wait because I'm going to get my, my wreath back. I changed my wreaths out, you know, for the holidays. Now I'm going to get my wreath out. That I bought from Timu. If you guys want a wreath for your door and you go on Amazon and you see like, oh, I like that one and it's $40 to $90, go immediately to Timu and look for that wreath because they'll have it there and it's like $12. I'm not spending more than $15 on a wreath for my door because it sits outside and the weather gets it. No. I used to make them and I don't make them anymore. other channel in the bullshit um nope not a of course you are rapper because you actually had you had n like nothing better to do with your time other than make 50 youtube accounts i mean i just don't i, I you just Sad. Sad. <laughs> Worst one. He needs a hug. Uh, I don't know. You think you can even get close to him to get him a hug? Be trolling me. I'll troll you right back. Why are you over here on Catterday anyway? It's Catterday. Go find something to do. What 
are you guys doing today? Right. Truth seeker, that's what I was just saying. Like, he's been on a tear for the past two days. He was over there bothering Bombshell. Weirdo. People like that are weird. I'm sorry. I mean, like, we're all on YouTube. We're all watching train wrecks, you know. We're all a little, you know, because we're watching these train wrecks. But we're all in it together, and we all like one another. We're, you know, we're fun peeps. We're nice peeps over here. But, like, to do that nonsense, no. And when I trolled Foodie, because it was Beezer, and I trolled her. I told you that earlier. I used Kimikaze. I didn't, like, well, when she kept blocking me and I was, like, really pissed off, I did have a sock account, and I called myself Box Mountain. But everybody knew that. Everybody knew it. You're going to clean the house and do laundry? Oh, shit. I got to do my husband's laundry. It's prom weekend? Are you serious? It's prom already? It's only the beginning of April. I thought prom was in May. Oh, I hope all the I hope all the kids have a great prom and that they're safe. Prom makes me nervous. Prom and graduation makes me nervous. It it totally makes me nervous. No, I thought graduate I know. I thought prom was like close to graduate. Well, I don't know. It's been skeen teen years since I was in high school and I didn't go to my prom. I was a bad student. Like I barely went to school. Imagine I just did that. I just cleaned my closet yesterday and I'm so very excited. My sneakers have always been organized, but I had like, I just had, I, my closet's organized. I just wanted to like throw like, I had work bags that I don't use anymore, so I'm going to take them down to church. Expose me. Sorry, truth seeker, you got caught up in the crosshairs. Don't worry, you'll be back. I think I got gotcha. you. Another one? Oh. I wish I could share. Yeah, she's got something wrong with her eyes. That's how I got my Jack. And then I put... um. I got ointment for his eye and he was fine. No, it looks like a little baby raccoon. Sorry, Truth, you got caught up in the in the in the shrapnel. Did he get you last night? What do you mean, go to Goodwill and shop in Goodwill or take stuff to Goodwill? Because I have, like, two, like, really nice bags for work. Like, the one is just a shoulder bag, but the other one I got, it's got wheels and, like, a handle. And, it, like, it fit my computer. That job had so much shit I had to travel with. And I had, like, back surgery. And it was, like, I was fresh out of surgery. So I had to get a bag with the wheels on it. They wanted me to carry scanners and laptops and all kinds of stuff. I should have my husband one. We don't do things. Well, there's a town near us. Luke, you might know this because you lived in this area. It's called Mullica Hill and they have like a whole row of antique shops. Maybe we can go shopping one day. That would be fun for a members only. Like just go shopping in antiques. Like they, they're huge barns. 
but then it gets dangerous. So um, maybe that's good that I'll have you guys on a tripod and I'll be busy watching the chat and stuff like that and showing you things and then I won't buy anything. You never heard of Mullica Hill? Truth seeker, no. I mean, you stick up for your friends, you stick up for a Yeah, we can go, we can go antique shopping. I want to, I want to go out and do things. Like yesterday I was thinking about firing up the live when I went to go get my scripts. I was kind of trying to clear my head and I thought, oh, I'll fire up a live and we'll go driving around. But then it's like kind of when you're, um, like when you're like driving around, I don't want to drive around to, I'd go to another town or something like that. But then it just, I, I don't know. I just don't trust people. But we can go to an antique shop. And there's plenty of them. There's like four or five barns that have all kinds of antiques in them. And it's fun. It's fun. They have gotten expensive. They have gotten expensive. I was telling a girl at work, downstairs I have, it, and I looked it up. I have a typewriter from World War II. That's how old it is. And this freaking thing is about 40 pounds. I mean, the ribbon is still in there, but it's all dried out. I wouldn't know where, I wouldn't know where to find typewriter ribbon, but it's really cool. I got that at a yard sale and they had no idea what they were selling. He's like $11. I said, I only have $9 cash on me. I wasn't trying to haggle the guy. I would have given him the 11 bucks. But he's like, okay, fine. So I got it for $9. Yeah, World War II. It starts with a W, the name brand. But I, I looked it up and that's what it said. But I was into trying to find like the old time telephone and typewriter, like all the office old stuff because I wanted to make an area. You know, when I get my house one day, exciting they have sidewalk sales <laughs> and he took the he took his uh his eye is his profile pic They don't have books anymore. Like, they won't take books in my area. They won't. You know what I do? I'd like, seriously, I want to do this, like, when I get my new house and have my own dressing room. I have this idea that I want, I want to, like, this, my typewriter's on display now, but you can't really see it unless you're looking for it downstairs. But I want to have my typewriter out. I have an old telephone. Um, and my grandfather bought the Encyclopedia Britannica, the white ones, not the old like brown looking ones. They're white with gold embossing and everything like that. So I want to have them on display. I have every single one of them, A through Z. I mean, they're old, you know, so there's plenty more stuff that came out since then, but I have the originals and that's what I want to put on the bookshelf. I have all kinds of stuff. Anyway. You did have that set, horse woman? It's pretty. It's like white leather and the, like the, the, it's gold and it has gold embossing letters and stuff like that. That's what I want. And like a real chair instead. This is my dining room chair. I'm tired of sitting on my vanity because I can't put my back back. Um, yeah, that's, we got, he got the white ones. He's like, no, I want the white ones. Because he called his, his, he called my grandmother Doll. He said, Doll wants the white ones, so I'm getting the white ones. He got her everything she wanted.
When I lived in New York City, I used to furniture and really nice stuff on the street because rich people were constantly redecorating. It was addictive. Yo, that's a great idea. Wow. I never thought about that, that they would just put shit on the sidewalk. That's why you see people like riding down the street with, with couches on their car. She hasn't been in in a while, but sometimes she pops in. Denise NYC, she used to do a Saturday show where she would show everybody like clips. She would get like news clips of things that were going on in New York City that week. We used to crack up. And she's, you know, she's gone. I don't know where she is. She was in the Discord. She heard the earthquake too. She wanted to make sure we were okay. In fact, I got to text them. But anyway. Cater, you owned a store? See, now, if I owned a store like that, I would probably wind up, to, like, taking this stuff home. Which would defeat the whole purpose. Because I like old-time stuff. The only problem is, is that I have a lot of my, my grandmother's stuff. And I feel like... I adored my, she's my best friend and she didn't, she taught me everything that I know, like all the kindness and love and forgiveness and how to bake and, you know, how to be responsible. She did not teach me how to live without her. So I still like, you know, I still get choked up. But when we were like redecorating and like re we were renovating her home. And then I was moving here. I took things that like, you know, I, like obviously. And I felt like I took too much. Like I didn't want to make my house a shrine. Like kind of if that makes any sense. But I do have a lot of stuff from her. Because I just, she had a good eye. And the things that she had were classic. They don't go out of style. Aww. Bastards going ahead and selling that. Horsewoman, we have that. We call them porch pirates. Mm -hmm. You can't, you like, my area is really nice. And we have, like, uh, quite a few people in this, in my courtyard that are original owners. And that they, they're outside sitting, you know, getting fresh air. So they kind of police this little part of the courtyard. But there's a lot of porch pirates around. It's it's gross. Today's today's it's it's just gross. People are nasty. Can't have nice things. Cause if you order it, that we have at like the 7 Elevens and stuff like that, they have Amazon lockers. So you go get a locker so you can have it delivered there. That's a bunch of bullshit. That is a bunch of bullshit. I have to have a locker so someone doesn't steal the stuff that you ordered. And then if you order stuff and you tell them that you didn't get it, they think you're lying because you're pulling a bum shell. Bullshit. My husband's hard on furniture. So is my brother. Like, my brother lived here with me when I first moved in. And he would sleep on the couch. I'm like, dude, don't, don't bust up my couch, man. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I appreciate everybody showing up for Gatter Day. Um, I'm glad Harley wasn't on a real big tear, but you got to see her anyway. And tomorrow... The poll comes out. It's a music one. And like I said, they're pulling the music ones down. So if you vote it and you want to be a part of the Thursday documentary thing, it's going to be music. So be there because otherwise you won't be able to catch it on the replay. It'll just get zoink. So um, 
Luke, I love seeing you in here too. So I appreciate everyone for being here. I hope you have a great Saturday and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Maybe I'll pop up on a surprise live and we'll do something members only. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.